Hello everyone! In this tutorial, we will be learning about the basics of SOLIDWORKS and introduction to the interface of SOLIDWORKS. We will be creating a cuboid. Click on this new documents icon. A pop-up window will appear where you can select to create assembly part and drawing. We will be creating a part, so we select part and click OK. We will be getting this type of interface. This is called menu bar. This is called Command Manager and we will be focusing on Feature and Sketch Command as a beginner. This is the Feature Manager and Property Manager which we'll be using most of the time. This is the Reference Triad. This is the Status bar down below where you can see the status of our drawings. This is the Graphics area where we will be working. This is the Heads Up View Toolbar. In Feature Manager, we can see three different planes from Front Plane, Top Plane and Right Plane. To create a sketch, we need to first select a plane that I'm selecting top plane and I go to sketch and click on sketch option. We can see various options here to create a different shape. We are drawing rectangular, so I select rectangle option. I click on the origin and start dragging. We can see two options here in which by clicking this option, it will exist sketch with saving changes. But this option, it will exist sketch without saving changes. We can see the status of our drawing as underdefined, so we need to fix its dimensions. We select the smart dimension. We fix its length as 80 millimeters and breadth as 40 millimeters. We can see while drawing, we are on property manager. We click on it to save dimension. And clicking it, we save changes. In feature, we can see different options to create 3D geometry. We will be selecting Extrude Boss Base to create Cuboid. We change its height by clicking and dragging. We also can fix its height by here. I will be fixing its height as 25mm and click in OK. We can rotate the part by holding the mouse wheel and dragging. By pressing spacebar, we can see different views. I am selecting Isometric View. To delete the feature, we can right click and then select delete option. To edit the sketch, I simply right click and then select edit sketch option and again, right click and then normal to option. I change the dimension to 70 millimeters by double clicking the dimension. I am again extruding, so I select the extrude option. As I haven't selected a sketch, so I can go to select breadcrumbs to select my sketch. I extrude it to 25 millimeters. Now I can use my part service as a plan to sketch. So I right click on this face of cuboid and selected the sketch option and the normal to option. I want to create a rectangle. There are two ways to create it. The first one, simply clicking on rectangle and drawing and second one. By using offset command. To create offset, I will give offset a 5 millimeters and I want it inside so I will reverse it. I will select all the lines of rectangle to create a rectangle inside. I want to create a rectangular hole through, so I select extrude cut option so I can click and drag to change the dimension. The feature manager design tree, we can see the steps of the process. We can see we extrude and then perform extrude cut to the final result. And this way, we can create simple geometry where we have used the feature command, they are extrude and extrude cut. We also can use another feature command fillet to give fillet to the part. To create fillet, we can select the fillet option and then select the edge and give fillet radius a 5 millimeters. I selected all the edges and OK to get the result.